guys, welcome to another video. I'm actually sitting on the floor, which is perfect for the topic of this um, little video because I just did a little workout. And what the topic of this vlog and video is about is the importance of um, building a really strong inner and outer core because there's a direct correlation between how the two of them connect. And when I mean inner, inner core strength, I mean how you really feel within your body, you know, your spiritual core strength. And when I, when I refer to your outer core strength, I mean, that physical appearance of your body, you know, when you have good abs and stuff like that. So there's five really important and vital reasons that I love to keep my inner and outer core really strong. And number one is the flow of energy. You know, what we haven't been told is that we're actually a, an energy system, you know, wrapped up in a body. So we're predominantly energy. So you have to have the energy within your body firing. And the way to do that is to have really strong core muscles. Therefore, the energy can connect and run throughout all the different parts of your body and flow really freely. Number two, which I love, is confidence. You know, when you've got a really strong outer core, you know, you hold yourself better, you express yourself better, and how you express yourself is actually de is a determinant of your success in life because how you express yourself is through your words and through your language and also through how you hold your um, posture and stuff like that. Now, when you have a really strong outer core, you hold yourself really um, strong and confidently and you walk proudly and we always, we always need to walk with that sense of power and, pr and proudness of ourselves otherwise if we have weak core muscles we tend to slouch a bit and we sort of project um, we project an image um, of someone who's not that confident you know with hunched shoulders and stuff like that now having an internal strong spiritual core is also amazing for your confidence because it allows you to stay really grounded and calm and you don't really get rattled by a lot of things because you're really strong within yourself. The third one I love is um, nothing can rock you, which kind of goes on to that. You know, when you've got a really strong outer core strength, you know, you can, you can um, do exercise, you can go over the sort of bumpiest of terrain and stuff, and you're still going to hold yourself tight. And the same with how when, you're, when your inner core strength is strong, when, you, when life rocks you and throws challenges up, which it always does, you can, you can sort of move through it with a lot more ease because you're really strong within yourself. And then we've got consistent happiness. We all know that when you feel really good about your body and how you feel, you're a lot happier and you're a lot more relaxed. And being relaxed is the key to um, success in life because what we have to do is we have to reset our nervous system to one that's really relaxed so that we can allow this beautiful energy to flow through us. So when we're happy, our body's in a more relaxed state, which is really important. So when you feel really good and strong about your body, um, you, you tend to be happier and you tend to be more relaxed. And similarly, when you have a really strong core spiritual and inner state, again, you have that level of confidence and you can sort of, um, gently push those negative thoughts that, that come in, those really unproductive thoughts, you can push them aside because you feel really confident within. And then the, the last one I love is building solid relationships. You know, when you're strong within yourself, you have the ability to give more love to others and you have the ability to give more love to yourself. And when you feel really strong, feelings of like resentment, anger, jealousy and hate, they all just disappear because you're strong within yourself and you don't you just don't need to project and have those feelings within you because you're really grounded within yourself so you can actually listen to others better you can communicate with others better and you just feel really really good within yourself so I'm about I've done my little core exercises um, what I love to do is sit-ups and push-ups um, and obviously I love to rock climb that's just a whole body workout and it's amazing for both your spiritual and your um, physical core which I love so um, exercises that you can do to um, help increase your spiritual core include one of my favorites is meditation. You can do mindfulness, which is where you're always constantly reflecting on what you're thinking and transforming those um, negative thoughts and spinning them into, into positive thoughts as much as you can. You know, you've also got yoga, tai chi, and um, constant self-reflection. So at the end of the day, sit down and look at the things that you know you weren't that proud of, that you could have acted in a different way, and therefore the next day you can change and make it a, and make it a, and make it a lot better. Um, and also be mindful of the food that you put into your body. You know, as an energy system, we need to be putting life-giving energy foods into our um, into our body, and of course heaps of water. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. I'm about to go for a run, and um, yeah, be sure to strengthen your inner and outer core. There's such a direct relation, um, correlation between the connection. So don't just focus on one, really focus on both. Um, have an amazing day.